Hi! In the next few minutes, we'll take a look at some of the highlights in the latest PPM releases. First up, you can now export dashboard pages to PowerPoint. The pages include private and shared dashboards, project overview, program dashboard, the portfolio overview tab, and the team overview tab. Portfolio management continues to enhance portfolio backlog prioritization and scheduling capabilities. The Dependencies tab is added, in which you can view portfolio backlog item dependencies. This tab helps you better plan and prioritize backlog items. For example, if you plan the investment on a backlog item, you may also want to include its predecessor. User experiences in Backlog Board View are enhanced. Column totals are now available at the top of the view. You can hide empty columns and swim lanes. To ensure a consistent portfolio view for all stakeholders, you can share your personal layout settings on the Backlog and Financials tabs. What If Analysis provides more analytical capabilities. You can use the new indicator chart to display the aggregated value of a numeric field and add custom fields to your What If Analysis. You can compare up to three scenarios to evaluate the impact of different investment plans and find an optimal one. In addition, you can share your what-if analysis scenario with others for streamlined collaboration. PPM provides more options to customize request details per request type. You can set which tabs are visible and how the tabs are ordered. You can add a custom tab where users can view specific request references and add new requests as references. You can add a tag field to requests, enabling users to add tags as identifiers for a request. Request field lists are more user-friendly. You can now search for the target value. This is particularly helpful when a list field contains more than 10 results. More customization options are now available in the PPM interface. You can add your corporate logo, configure colors for UI elements such as buttons and dialog box headings, and use custom CSS code to reflect your organization's style. And finally, two new report types are introduced, PowerPoint report and Word report, giving you additional options to create PPM reports. Check out the Help Center to learn more and enjoy the new PPM releases.